Okay, let's continue to discuss the ways in which the assignment operator is different from the equal sign that you're familiar with from math class. And let's go back to what you might have seen in math class. Something like w is equal to v is one expression you're given. And then you're also told that v is equal to 7. And maybe you're given a third expression that says z is equal to w plus v. And you're asked, what's the value of z? Well, the first expression establishes the equality of w and v. The second expression tells us that v is equal to 7. So by extension, w must be equal to 7. So in that third expression, when we're summing v and w, we must get 14. And so we say, well, z is 14. But things do not work that way in Python. So let's demonstrate that. Let's just start with that first statement. Let's say w is equal to v, so we're not writing a comment now. And when we hit return, we get an error, a trace back that says there's a name error here. The name v is not defined. So remember that equal sign is not establishing equality. It's the assignment operator. It takes the operand or the expression on the right and assigns that to the L value or the variable or the name or the identifier on the left. But in this case, Python couldn't evaluate that expression on the right because we hadn't given V a value. When a variable name appears for the first time on the left hand side of the assignment operator, it springs into existence and it's assigned the value of whatever the expression to the right of the operand to the right of the equal sign evaluates too. So after it's assigned a value, we can use that variable however we see fit. And if the value had already been assigned a value, the old value is lost and the new value is assigned to the variable. Okay, now let's use another example that illustrates the difference between the equal sign and the assignment operator. So let's go back to math class and you might have seen something like x is equal to 3 and y is equal to x, but then x gets assigned a new value. It has a value of 10. And the question is, after the re these three statements, what's the value of y? And that second statement, y is equal to x, in math class, that establishes an equality between x and y. So if one changes, the other changes. But that's not the way things behave in Python or essentially any other computer language. So let's give those same statements a try. Let's say x is equal to 3. So the variable x sprang into a life. We assigned it a value of 3. Now let's say y is equal to x. And this is perfectly fine. We'll evaluate the right-hand side. Python will say, oh, x, that's equal to 3. And it should set y equal to a value of 3. And let's just check on that. Let's type x comma y, hit return, and we should see the value of those two variables. And sure enough, they're both 3. Now let's say x is equal to 10. OK, now what is y equal to? So let's say x and y on a line by themselves again. Hit return, and we see that well, of course, x is equal to 10, but that did not go back and change the value of y. We created y with a value of 3, and that was it. We haven't gone back and changed that. So when we wrote y is equal to x, think of that as y is assigned the current value of x, and that's it. It doesn't establish the lifelong equality of these two variables. OK, let's consider one more example to illustrate the difference between assignment and equality. First, let's check on the value of x. So just putting x on a line by itself, hitting return, we see x is equal to 10. Now I'm going to write this statement that's perfectly legitimate Python code, and it's a statement that we might see in any number of computer languages. It's quite a common construct. I'm going to say x is equal to, but think of that as x is assigned the value 
that comes from x plus 1. If you saw this in a math class, let's say this, that this makes no sense in math. There is no value of x that will make this expression true. So essentially, this is just false. But in Python, in computer languages, this is a perfectly legitimate statement. And what do we get now for x? Let's look at x. Now it's 11. So what happened is that assignment operator evaluated the expression on the right. It took the current value of x, which was 10. It added 1 to that, and that was 11. And it assigned that to x. So x became 11.